Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, my name is Kunetu Chelilian, a Kunetu Yom. I represent Anambra Central and from Anambra State. Mr. President, the motion is on the status of fifth generation network in Nigeria. The Senate notes with growing concern the ongoing discussion about the current status of the fifth generation network in Nigeria, especially with regards to whether or not Nigeria is presently connected to the 5G network. The Senate notes further the concern by scientists and medical experts that the emissions from the 5G towers could adversely affect the health of citizens by causing symptoms like damage to eyes, antibiotic resistance, and other physiological effects on the nervous and immune system. The Senate is mindful of the recurrent health hazards, which are usually associated with technological advancements, such as the 5G network, and the need to conduct a thorough test prior to the deployment of the new technology. The Senate is aware of a statement by Dr. Issa Patani, Honorable Minister of Communication, in October 2019, during the 39th Gulf Information Technology Exhibition in Dubai, that Nigeria was ready to deploy 5G network across the country to ease network flow. The Senate is aware also that in subsequent interviews, the Honorable Minister of Communication indicted that no license has yet been issued by the Federal Government of Nigeria for the operation of 5G network except for a three-month study trial granted to MTN, which commenced on the 25th of November 2019 and intended to critically review and study the health and security implications of deploying 5G in Nigeria. The Senate acknowledges that 5G reportedly holds a lot of promise for mobile broadband services because of its faster speed and better capacity. The Senate further acknowledges that there is neither a conclusive proof nor has it been universally established that the deployment of 5G network is either harmful to the human body or is in any way linked to the global pandemic of COVID-19. A lot of countries like South Korea, United Kingdom, and Germany have successfully deployed and are using the 5G network. The Senate is concerned that uncertainty surrounding whether or not the 5G network has been launched in Nigeria will continue to fuel the speculations and rumors concerning the deployment of 5G network and its effect on the citizens of Nigeria. The Senate is further concerned about the massive infrastructural upgrade as has never been seen before, which will follow the launching of 5G network in Nigeria. For instance, for the deployment of 5G network in urban areas, the providers have to install a strong radiating mobile communications antenna approximately every 100 meters, producing what has been described as the radiant tsunami. I'm sorry, radiation tsunami, and taking up to a 1,000-fold increase in the transmission power. The Senate is informed that several countries, including Switzerland, one of the world's leaders in the rollout of 5G mobile technology, has placed an indefinite moratorium on the use of 5G network because of health concerns. The Senate is desirous of investigating the true status of 5G network in Nigeria to ensure that Nigerian citizens are not exposed to an unreasonable risk of great bodily injury or harm. The Senate accordingly resolves to direct the com Committees on Communication, Science and Technology, and ICT and Cyber crime, Crimes to conduct a thorough investigation to determine the status of 5G network in Nigeria and its technological impact on Nigerian citizens and report back to the Senate within two weeks. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I so move. Deputy Senate Leader. I'm the Chairman of Science and Technology for this uh, motion. Mr. President and dear colleagues, I think the motion itself 
it is very explicit. This is a very controversial issue that has attracted global attention. And I think at this point, we need experts to look into the issue of the 5G technology. In view of this, Mr. President, I don't think we need to overlabor ourselves in discussing or in debating this motion. I think we just go straight to the prayer and approve what uh, the mover has suggested. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Michael Obey. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I'm Michael Okoyemi Bamidele. I represent the Kitty Central Senatorial District. Very timely, very sensitive uh, motion. I am convinced, like a lot of Nigerians, that it would be irresponsible of any government to implement or subscribe to the implementation of a highly sensitive technological, I mean, uh, advancement like the fifth generation network without such a government being able to convince itself on behalf of its citizens that that is not a dangerous move to make. I say for the record, and I stand to be contradicted, that neither our Federal Ministry of Communication nor the regulatory agency, National Commun Nigerian Communication Commission, can say to Nigerians that any scientific step whatsoever has been taken and that whatever conclusion they had drawn, including their announcement to Nigerians that Nigeria was ready for the deployment of the 5G technology, was based on any form of scientific understanding. Nothing has been done. It might interest our colleagues to know that most insurance companies all over Europe, including the United Kingdom, in the last few, few months amended their clauses to reflect non-inclusion of a category of diseases which, according to them, are caused by, I mean, certain radiation-induced technology, including, it's on record, Mr. President, the fifth generation network. The world is concerned. A group of 240 scient scientists in Europe concluded their research and approached the European Union Commission, exp I mean, ex expressing their dissatisfaction over the manner in which the fifth generation technology was being implemented. And all the European Union told them was that it would be the responsibility of each country to investigate and take an independent position as to whether or not they would encourage the deployment of fifth generation technology in their country. So each country is doing it in Europe. Here we are in Nigeria. Mr. President, I can go on and on on this issue, but I know time is of the essence and our other colleagues who also want to speak. But let me make it clear that I'm totally in support of this motion except that I believe we need more than two weeks to investigate this issue and conclude, which is a matter for amendment when it comes to that, to the prayer. But we must provide Nigerians a platform to bring experts together to investigate this matter. And the Nigerian government, through NCC or Federal Ministry of Communication, should not rush you know, into implementing the fifth generation technology in Nigeria until at least we have some scientific basis upon which we want to proceed. I thank you, Mr. Distinguished colleagues, I think the prayer is, uh, is very straightforward. 
there is no point to debate thing that we have no information, no idea. So I think the prayer is, uh, is enough. So I'll put the question, unless, is there anybody against the motion? Okay. So I'll put the, the, the question. The Senate accordingly resolves to direct the committees on ICT and cyber crimes to conduct a thorough investigation to determine the status of 5G network in Nigeria and its technological impact on Nigerian citizens and report back to the Senate within two weeks. Amendment. Amendment, uh, Senator Samuel. Uh, 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 my amendment is that Committee on Public Health be included in the committee because this concerns health. Uh, that's my amendment. Yes. Any second? Senator. Um, look, I rise to second the motion, uh, the amendment as moved by Senator Sam. I so second. Those in favor of the additional prayer um, committee. And then science and tech and ICT and cyber crimes uh, join. And of course, the Committee on Health has amended. Thank you. Senator Bamidele. And except to not be enough for this, I will propose four weeks, Mr. President. So I